Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for you all four sizes of the new Tudor Black Bay on the five link uh, bracelet. I know someone said hey, enough of the dive watches you've been posting. So I figured this would be a nice change of pace. Literally just got these in this week. So on my left, I have the 31 millimeter blue dial diamond hour markers, the 36 millimeter champagne dial, the 39 millimeter anthracite dial, and the 41 millimeter anthracite dial with diamond markers. So I'm going to go over all of these real quick, the specs. I'm going to run over them and just give you a whole bunch of numbers. I know people are going to want to ask, and then I'll throw them on wrist at the end so you can see how they wear on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Up first, 31 millimeter. I measured all of these about a half millimeter larger uh, diagonally across the case. So 31 millimeter, I measured at 31.6. I measured it at 30.9 across the bezel. So again, that was diagonally across the case, 31.6. Across the bezel, 30.9. So 31 is where you're getting your across that bezel. And then 26.5 on the crystal for this uh, 20 or 31 millimeter model. 9.6 millimeters thin, 37.8 lug tip to lug tip, 17 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 14 millimeter at the last link, and then back out to 16 at the T-fit clasp, even on your smallest model. Uh, so you are getting that. As far as the bracelet, let's see, we do have uh, screws here. Does not look like we have any half links, but who needs them when you have the T-fit and all of the uh, adjustability here um, within the clasp itself. So uh, again, a really nice option uh, for a smaller wrist, um, someone who wants that smaller watch. Uh, Caliber uh, MT5201, these are COSC chronometer movements, um, 100 meters of water resistance, 50 hours of uh, power reserve. So I will say the smaller uh, watch, smaller movement, only 50 hours of power reserve. The rest of them are all 70. On the full bracelet, 91.1 grams, $4,450 with the diamond markers. Moving on to the 36 millimeter version. Measure this at 36.6. So again, pretty much about a half millimeter across the case larger, uh, directly across that bezel and even 36 millimeters and 31.5 on this crystal. I really like this champagne dial. I like the blue as well, um, just to give you kind of, if you want to see these side by side, sunburst effect on both. 10.5 millimeters thin on the 36, 43.9. So about 44 millimeter lug tip to lug tip. We have a 19 millimeter lug width on this model, tapering down to 16 at the last link and then back out to 18 at the T-fit clasp. So again, micro adjustability is fantastic on these. So that is the 36. 36 is housing the MT5400 movement, slightly larger movement than the 31, 70 hours of power reserve, the same 100 meters of water resistance, and on the bracelet, 124.4 grams. This model retails at $3,825. Again, I'm going to list all of this stuff again in the description so you can reference it because I'm rattling off a whole bunch of numbers. The 39 millimeter anthracite dial, again, 39.4, so about that half millimeter, again, is what I measured across the case itself. 38.9, so 39 millimeter across the polished bezel. And I measured 32.5 millimeters on the crystal of this one. 12.1 millimeters thick, so about 12 millimeters. 47.3 lug tip to lug tip, so you're up uh, about three and a half over the 36. We have a 21 millimeter lug width, so we jump up from the 17 to 19 to now 21, tapering down to 18 at the last link, and then back out to 20 at the same T-fit style clasp. Solid stainless steel case back, MT5602 movement, 70 hours of power reserve, the same 100 meters of water resistance. This one on the full bracelet, 154 grams, so 30 grams heavier than the 36. And this one retails at $3,950. So real quick, before I hit the 41, I figure I will try to put all three of these in size, side by side, just so you can look at the dials. Again, anthracite, cham anthracite champagne, and blue. If you want the blue compared to that. There you go. And last and certainly not least, the 41 millimeter version is the one with diamond markers. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but again, I wanna give you all four sizes. 
41 and a half. So again, that half millimeter larger across. And you can see the case just sticks out just a little bit from that bezel, which is where it's coming from on both sides. So 41.5 across the case, 41 across the bezel, and then 35 millimeters is what I measured on this crystal. 12.4 millimeters thick, so about a, not quite half millimeter, 3.3.4 millimeters larger than the uh, 39. 50 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. We go up slightly here. The 39 was a 21 lug, uh, lug width. We get 22 on this model, so 22 millimeter lug width, tapering down to the same 18, and then back out to the 20. So the same size clasp um, on this model. So MT5601 with 70 hour power reserve, 100 meters of water resistance. I apologize, a coworker's phone is ringing in the background. I am gonna keep powering through. 164.7 grams. So uh, again, about, what is that? 10 grams heavier on the 41. This model retails at $4,900. So I ran through all the specs. Now let's get to see what people probably really wanna see is how do they wear on my six and three quarter inch wrist? So we'll start with the smallest, the 31. Pretty small, not even sure. Yep, I can actually get that shut. So I can tell you the 31 will fit on a six and three quarter inch wrist or smaller. Larger than that, this bracelet is not gonna fit on your wrist without additional links. So there's the 31. I will tell you right now, my favorite is the 36. Uh, I do like the fact that when I did the 39 champagne, I liked it, but I like for my size wrist and my personal taste, I like the 36. I could easily wear the 39. Um, I just liked that the bracelet tapered on this down to the 16 and a slightly smaller 18 millimeter clasp compared to the 20 millimeter clasp on the 39 and the 41. So if I was in the market for one of these, which I may be at some point, uh, I think the 36 is where I'm gonna go. I like the 40, almost 44, like the lug on my wrist. But again, I'll put the 39 on. I do think I could wear the 39. My preference is just towards the smaller 36. The 39, again, tapers to 18. So a little bit thicker strap, thicker clasp. But again, not overly thick at around 12. Again, you're looking at this from not even a foot away from my camera. Definitely think I could wear this. I actually asked a coworker. They preferred this on me. Um, I still like the 36, but uh, I think the 36 or the 39 are gonna be very popular and I think could be worn uh, just really whatever your, it comes down to what your personal preferences are. Everyone's gonna have a, a different style on, on those two. And then the 41, I think is gonna be reserved for folks who really like large watches or have a larger wrist. The 41 wears me. I don't wear it in my opinion. Um, but again, still fantastic looking watch for those who want a larger watch or just uh, are looking for that larger presence on wrist. So hopefully that gives you an idea on all four of these. Like I said, I knew it was gonna be a little bit longer video. I will list all these descriptions. Hopefully I did not uh, confuse any of those while I was going through them. But if you have questions or in the market for one of these Tudor black base, please reach out to me, brad at brentlmiller.com. Thanks for viewing and we will see you in the next video. Let me hit the lights and give you loom quick. Thirty-one, thirty-six. Obviously, if you have the diamonds, you're not getting all the loom. And the thirty-nine, and the forty-one again with diamonds. So, as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Let me know what you think of these watches. We'll see you in the next one.